सो वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल तो आई एम स्टार्टिंग न्यू सीरीज कॉल्ड एज व्हाट्स न्यू विथ एन एटन एंड इन दिस सीरीज आई बी कवरिंग ऑल द न्यू इन्फॉर्मेशन विच इज गोइंग ऑन इन द एन एटन बिकॉज एन एटन पीपल आर वर्किंग वेरी हार्ड एंड दे आर रिलीजिंग टू मेनी थिंग्स आउट देर एंड इफ यू फाइंडिंग डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड आउट वॉट ऑल थिंग्स आर गोइंग ऑन आई गॉट यू बैक आई बी शेयरिंग ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन विच इज गोइंग ऑन आउट देर सो इफ यू डोट टू मिस एनी काइंड ऑफ अपडेट रिगार्डिंग एन एटन Please subscribe to the channel because I'll be releasing a lot of video for this part. So today's video will be covering three major update going on with the AI agent node. So before getting started, let me show you I'm on the version one point one o four point two. Okay, so let's get started. So the first update is for the people who keep on worrying what if their API credits is completed. or what if the model node is not working properly so now we have the fallback node over here so in the ai agent part now we have the another toggle button which is known as enable fallback model so whenever we toggle that on we can see another fallback model over here so in that you can select any kind of a model out there so whenever this first chat model get fail it will go to the second model out there okay so if i show you the example so now i have created another fake account which has the wrong api key okay so let me create another one so if i come over here let me write anything over here okay let me save it and obviously it will give an error because it's an invalid key but we'll work with that let me name it so that it will be easy to delete later so let me write open ai fake uh, it's okay let me close now we can see it is a fake credential over here and now let me open the chat and write hey So as you can see, it got failed and it went to the fallback route over here, which I'm using open router over here. And if we go into inside the AI agent, we are getting the output. But if we go to the log and we can inside, we can see open AI chat model. We can see incorrect API key provided. So it is working perfectly fine. So this will be great for the people who want to keep the model backup out there. Okay, this is the first update regarding the fallback AI agent. Now. The second update is my favorite over here, which is AI agent as a tool. Till now, what we were having only one AI agent, which can have multiple tools out there. So now, if I want to create the email agent army, which will have create email, read email, categorize email, delete email, all the different functionality. And what if I have the calendar army as well, which will have create event, get event, delete event, update event, so many different functions out there. And now there will be so many different tools under the one AI agent. so what we were doing we were creating this sub workflow where we used to call particular workflow which will have again the ai agent and we used to do the similar thing but not that mess anymore now we can create the another tool which will be exact replica of what we have the ai agent out there and we can create the formative functionality so now as you can see i am using the one of the normal calculated tool out here and i have the another calendar agent which serves the functionality of calendar agent so in my main ai agent part so what i have written so if you see i have mentioned that you have two tools first is a calculator use this tool when something related to calculating is asked and second is a calendar agent is a agent not a tool right now so call this agent when something is asked regarding the meeting event or calendar so now in that scenario it will go to this calendar agent and this calendar agent has its own system prompt which calls the tool which it has So as you can see, you have only one tool, which is kind of a create event to show you as a demo. But you can have multiple tools out here. So how crazy this is! So now instead of creating a sub workflow and having multiple tools out here, you can have multiple agent, which will take care of each and every own functionality, and hallucination will be decreased a lot over here. Okay, this is a crazy, crazy, crazy feature out here. So now last but not least, the feature which we have is regarding the model selector over here. So now. in the fallback what we had a we had a option of getting a fallback part so whenever one of a model fails we can go to the another model but what we want to generate answer from the different models it could be any scenario uh, for some kind of a task we want to use chat gpt for some different kind of a task we want to you go for the cloud or kind of a grok or kind of a deep seek anything out there now in the model selector this is possibility so now how does the model selector work so in the chat model part so if i delete this in the chat model in the plus icon you can see the first part is kind of a model selector so whenever you click that thing you will see this model selector okay inside this you can select up to 10 model out here so if you see the line oh my god there are 10 models over here so you have multiple options over here for the demo purpose let me go back to the two or you can select whatever number you want okay so now from this two now how does the routing will happen how does it will come to know which tool to use so for the demonstration purpose i have created the variable which is saying that model number 2 it, it means it will use the second model if i write one over here it will use the first model 
So inside the model selector, there are rules over here. So according to the rules, it will select the model. So this rule can come from anywhere. It can come from the LLM, which is specifically designed to select the model out there. Okay, it will give you some kind of a number and you can have a logic over here. According to the logic, then model will be selected. So in my case, I am getting that input from the variable part over here. Okay, so let's run it. So let me um, bring the set model over here. Let me refresh this. And now the, as you can see in the model number is one. Now, if I come over here and write here, so as you can see, the first model got triggered. Now inside the variable part, if I write model number two, and if I trigger it, let's say here, the model number second is triggered. So this way you can have any kind of a logic which will associate which model to call. So these are the three major updates which we have for the AI agent and this is going crazy. So I hope you like this series of the what new with N10 where I share new information what is going on with the N10. I'll stay up to date. If there is anything you want to tell me, you can join my school community. You can tell me new update and I'll make video on that. So let's learn together. Let's grow together and let's share the knowledge. So if you like the video, please press the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment. Subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.